This is Summers Post Station, where the battle took place against General De Vette on the 31st of March 1900. We're now looking east towards the Modder River where the waterworks was, and this is the direction from which General Broadwood's column was retiring on Bloemfontein. Not along the railway line, the tracks were not yet laid at that time. The ridge in the distance is just beyond the Kuhnspreit, in the bed of which General De Vette and his 400-odd uh, uh, Boers waited in ambush against the British. And it was to these buildings that Q Battery was able to retire and save all but one of their guns. This is the view looking west in the direction of Bloemfontein, and just below that very low ridge is the Kuhnspreit. And we're standing in the position more or less where Q Battery managed to drag their guns and fire back and fight back. And this is the British Cemetery. This is the main Tabanchu Bluffentain Road as it is today. And where that car in the middle is, it's now crossing the Corn Sprait. Looking downstream and now directing towards the north is the direction in which De Vette retired with all the spoils of his battle. And approximately in that position is near waterfall drifts in the far distance where the Queenslanders were sent to try and occupy the drift and cut off his retreat. and more down here. Looking around here to the buildings at the Sunnis Post station, these were only partially finished at the time of the action. The railway line had not been extended across the Kuhnspreit and consequently <coughs> There's no rail link between here and Bloemfontein. This road bridge crosses, uh, crosses the Kuhnspreit, in the bit of which General De Vette, with part of his commando, lay in wait as the British advanced from this direction to cross the Kuhnspreit, come up this ridge, and then head off to Bloemfontein. Where the trees are uh, is where the Sunnis Post. Uh, station building was being erected and around here you can see the railway bridge over the Kuhnspreit which was then just completed and this is as far as the railway got to at that time. This is the direction of the old road. There's no bridge in those days but it came more or less in this direction. You can still see the indentation in the ground where the old road came and it was across this that U battery and Q battery uh, were trapped. U battery got almost to the edge of the spread before their, their men were shot down. Q battery behind them managed to save most of their guns and in the process of which won four Victoria crosses. Looking in a northerly direction from here is the direction in which the Queenslanders uh, tried to help cut off the vet's retreat as the action developed. This is an overall map of the area and a close-up detailed map is adjacent to it. This shows the position of the the bed where De Vette's men were and the U battery's proximity to it, the old road, and the position taken up by Q battery in relation to the station buildings. Further up is the 
Modra River where the Bloemfontein Waterworks was uh, in operation.